In today's painting, I am going to use a red ochre, Prussian blue and a burnt umber for the background. And for the nose and ears area of the cat, I will be using this cad red. And for the cat itself, it will be a Naples yellow and raw sienna along with white, black and grey. So for the background, I am going to use a size 8 filbert brush. And for the cat, I will be using 3 brushes today. One is a size 6 filbert and size 00 round and a 0 size rigger. All the materials used are given in the description box below. Please have a look at it and if you want to purchase, you can purchase from those links. I start with the initial drawing of the cat. So the background is going to be very simple as our main concentration is on the cat today. So I will be just drawing the cat alone. So I will finish off the background first. Uh, the background is going to be burnt umber, Prussian blue and red ochre. So I will be randomly mixing these colors to fill in the background. For most of my animal portraits, I start with a drawing and uh, I wanted to place the eyes, nose, mouth first to check whether they are in place and whether they look good before I start to paint. That way I can avoid later stage mistakes. For some of the animals, I tend to draw and paint and for some, I just directly start with a painting. It basically depends on the complexity of the animal. If you can also go ahead to do a detailed uh, drawing before you paint. For this particular painting or for most of my paintings, I just uh, concentrate on the eyes, nose and mouth. I have already done a pencil drawing and shading of the cat. So in case you wanted to check that out, I will just link that above. If you are watching my channel for the first time, I post video tutorials every single week. So do subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button so that you get notified as soon as my videos are out. We will start with the eyes of the cat. So usually when doing animals, I finish off the eyes first so that I get an overall look and feel of the animal. For the eyes, do the outline first and if you are okay with it and if it's fine to you, then start to fill the inside of it. I have used a cobalt teal color for the eyes. For the center of the eye, it is going to be a pinese gray and a black. You could also use a plain black. There will not be much difference to it. Cats are one of the very popular pets in the world and it's very friendly and quiet animal. And the important thing to note is that there are 44 breeds of cat. They are very independent and since there are many breeds, the type of fur and the color of the cat itself will vary from cat to cat. So once the eyes are set, I will be working on the base color for the cat. So we will be working in layers for this painting. So once we are done with the base, then we will go ahead to put the fur over it. So first let us finish off the face and then move on to the body of the cat. So for the fur, you have to remember to paint in the direction in which it goes. And also you should know the length of the fur. As I told you earlier, there are totally 44 breeds of cats. So the fur for each and every breed is going to vary. Some of the cats have long fur and some of them have short. So just uh, see and observe if you are working for a reference photo. See whether the cat's fur is long or short. And then do it accordingly. If you have not painted any animals so far, you can first try to do just the eye of the animal or uh, particularly the eye of the cat in a smaller canvas and just try the hair around its eyes. 
that itself will give you a greater dimension of how you can paint the fur and then you can move on to a close up of a face of the cat and then try both the eyes along with the fur together and uh, it's best to avoid very difficult animal poses when you are starting out just start out with a front posing face without much harder angles to it and then slowly you can paint difficult poses if you are painting fur for the first time before you start to paint the fur you could practice on a piece of sheet or a paper and then do it on your canvas so cats have the ability to rotate their ears in 180 degrees because they have 32 muscles in it so when you are doing the ears of the cat just ensure that you place them in the correct position cats are very uh, lovable and wonderful pets and there are people who are very much crazy about cats i remember a joke from readers digest that read a woman who says to her friend i have to get rid of my husband because he is allergic to cats so these creatures are so lovable which makes people so crazy and when you are painting the fur just see the overall direction before you paint whether the fur goes to the top or bottom or whether it is curling out curling right or left all that you have to observe before you paint the fur usually the hair near the ears are long and goes inside the ear and the rest of the ears for this particular cat is going to be short the reason why i am doing the background first is that when we are working on the fur we will be extending it out and uh, it's very easy to work if the background is already set it's not that hard to paint the fur but the only thing is it's going to take its time so just spend your time in building it up and always remember to use different colors when you are painting the fur for the shorter fur you could use a 000 or 00 round brush or you could also use a rigger brush and for the longer fur you could use a rigger brush to paint it up you don't have to paint each and every line for the fur couple of lines in proper direction will do what common mistake that people do is mostly in the direction of the fur they tend to do it in whatever they have in their mind if you are uh, commissioning a pet portrait then ask for multiple photos of the cat and you will get an overall picture of the cat if you could take the photo yourself that would be great so take photos in different angles before you start to paint in uh, ancient times cats have been considered one of the most important animal and it has been given so much importance that it has been worshiped as god even in ancient egypt uh, there is a practice where, where when a person's house cat just passes away or dies the owner is supposed to shave their eyebrows just to reflect the grief of their dead cat even though the fur color is going to vary from cat to cat the procedure and the tips and tricks that i am sharing with you will remain the same you can implement the same steps when you are doing your cat portrait
Another crucial element to paint next to fur is the whiskers. Uh, these whiskers are like uh, curvy lines coming out of the cat's face near the mouth, just above the mouth. There are white lines that is coming out of the face. These whiskers are not of the same length and they don't start at the same point as well. There are dots from where the whiskers start. When you observe these dots, they are alternate, they are alternate to each other and they are not of the same length as well. So each of these whiskers grows from this different point. And one more thing to note in this fur and the whisker is they are not of the same thickness too. And especially in the whiskers, they start little bit thicker and as you go towards the end, they tramper. So you could use a rigor brush to do this whiskers. And if you are not comfortable with a brush, try using the back of the brush because that is still more sturdier. Or you could also use a palette knife or any sharper objects which has a sharp edge to it. So as I said earlier, practice in a sheet of paper or just a scrap paper. Use different objects and see how well you are able to do the thin line and then you could uh, do it on your canvas. If you are a complete beginner, then uh, try it for a couple of times. It might not work the first time you try the fur because it's very thin lines that gets out of the cat. So try it for a couple of times in your scrap paper and I'm pretty sure that finally you will definitely get it right. So just practice this fur. And if you have any other questions, just post it in the comments below. I will be happy to help. Finally, we will add little bit of shadows under the leg area and finish off the painting. If you like this video, please click on the like button and also share it with your friends. I have linked all the useful videos over here. Just click on them and start to paint along. Happy painting. See you in the next video guys. Bye bye.